Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm SD2 Production, aka Cthulhu Wearing a Cardigan, and welcome to a brand new series. We're playing Lake View Cabin Collection. Um But this one's gonna be a little different. It is a series, but we're going to be pretty much going level per level with each video. And uh I think that's mostly because of how the way this game is kind of structured. So, I love the premise. I, I think the art style is wonderful. But the premise of this game is pretty interesting. So, each level is an installment in a film series within the universe. And as you can see, we got Lakeview Cabin 3, 4, 5, and 6. And uh, they're all their own levels. But we're going to be starting off with the third one. So, each level itself is sort of an homage to some horror franchise, and number three is obviously one to um, slasher movies like Friday the 13th and Sleepaway Camp, so we're going to try our best to basically survive. My goal is that everybody survives. We're going to throw this bag in the water. We don't need it. Uh, this is a case of beer. Throw this sucker out there as well, because guess what? If we drink, if we get high, well... The killers come. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up. Uh, ooh, did you see that guy? We're gonna set up everything, and first we need to take off our clothes. Boom, and then we gotta go and basically do that until the shotgun shell shows up, as you can see right there. Now we're going to get in bed. Come on, there we go. And we're gonna switch over to red here. Now she's gonna get in there. She's going to take her clothes off, and they're going to do what teenagers have always done in horror movies. And then we're going to put her clothes back on, and we're going to go back outside, and we're going to put her away. Because we don't need her until the very end. Yes, I played this a million times. We're going to grab this key, we're going to put clothes on, and we're going to go to the front. Now, we're going to need the pug, so hopefully we'll run into him when we're there. Um, we're going to need her, too. There it is. Oop. Let's go. Now we're gonna go in. Uh, we're gonna go in here. I drop the pug. But first, we're gonna bring her in. We're gonna make. No, wrong house. There's two Gavins. We don't need to go there yet. We need to go here. Alright. Now let's drop the pug. Let's go over here. And we're gonna grab this, drop it. And we're gonna take that hammer. As you can see on the top, there's a giant hole. We need to fix that. So, boop, boop, boop. If we fall down that hole, or if we go to that room all the way at the very end, uh, we'll break our legs. Yeah. And I don't mean, like, we'll be limping, but, like, literally, our legs will snap off. So we're going to need her to come here and basically hold up this box. That's great. I'm going to switch over. Awesome. We're going to grab the... Oh, did you see that guy? Woo! Little creepy stuff here and there. And we're gonna put this one down here because we don't need it now. What we need to do is we're gonna go at the very end and we're gonna grab the weapon at the dock because we don't want the killer to have a weapon. And he's gonna pop up here and he's gonna grab that axe. So we're gonna take it because we also need it too. Um, because there is a safe way for us not to be murdered by the first killer and we're gonna need this axe to be able to do it. So we're going to walk all the way over there. But like I said, I really like the art style of this game. I think it looks really cool. Um, I think it has a... Ooh! Come play. Very ominous. Uh, it has a definite charm. Ugh. There we go. It has a definite charm that I think a lot of people appreciate. Going to smack that. Um, and I think that is something I really like about this game. It, it, it doesn't take itself too serious as well. So we're going to take a shit, like anybody would. Blech. We're going to leave that axe there because all we really need is the bear. And that axe is safe there because, damn it. You know, it, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. You, know you can actually kill yourself on the rake. <laughs> uh, if you basically fall and trip on it so many times that you can't actually kill yourself. We're going to leave that axe there because Red's going to need it for the final act. I'm not going to say exactly what's going to go down, but something cool is going to happen. Now we're going to take this bear and we're going to leave it here because uh, you'll see when the killer shows up why we went through the trouble of taking that axe away and basically taking that bear. For now, I'm thinking let's just set up a possible second plan. Now, 
I've only been able to do this like once, but there is a way to kind of set this on fire and the gas can itself will explode. But that's like a just in case kind of situation. We're gonna switch over to this guy and we are gonna take this. We're gonna go over here, smack this box. Now only smack it once because it's filled to the brim with flares and they will pop off. So in that box was a shell, but you can't see it. I'm gonna leave this out here because we're gonna need it for the first act. Ooh, I can turn on the lights, nice. Boop. I hope that didn't trigger the killers. I have absolutely no idea what actually does trigger the killers, but I don't think this one does. Uh, I'd be surprised if it did. Now we're gonna go and you heard that cock, that's because we uh, ran in front of the bullet and we loaded it. So now there's one bullet here and we know that there's a second one at the second little cabin. So we're gonna go get that. We're gonna come back, drop it off and then prepare. Why am I not picking it up? Oh, weird. Well, nope, not what I wanted to do. There we go, let's throw that. Weird, weird bug, or I guess not a bug. I don't know why that happened. Um, you can ride that. That that's the crazy thing I like about this. Most of these levels are so fantastically like big. They're huge. They're over the top. Now we're gonna drop the shotgun here because we don't need it until the second act. Now we're gonna be doing this in three acts, and basically for now, uh, we're gonna wait it out. But let's give a sort of scan over. He's there. And basically, the killer is going to go by here first. Then, uh, Red's here. He's here. And she's holding the box. Now, everything's pretty much in place uh, for when the killers come. So for now, we're actually just going to be waiting it out. I'm probably going to cut this, so here we go. Okay, uh, okay, so the reason that we waited is so I can ring this bell. And just waiting around. Boop! All right, now things are about to start. Act one is about to begin. And we're gonna see some crows overhead. There we go, and that signifies that the killer is on his way and he's coming from the dock, so. We're going to hear him go into that cabin right there and shut down the power. And the reason I waited until daybreak was because, well, because it would have been way tougher to take care of him and basically all the killers at night. And it's just easier to take care of things when you can see better. So he just went in there and he's about to cut the power and he's going to walk across right now after he's done with that. And then we're going to drop that box on him. There he is. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Now we're going to drop this box on him, and that will be our first hit against them. It's like a free hit, which is awesome. I like that. Um, here he comes, and... Boop! Alright, grab the pug, and get on top of the box. Now I'm completely safe. Look at him. He's done. And he grabs a teddy bear. So, he will start slashing at you with the teddy bear, and... Uh, it won't hurt you at all. So what we're gonna do is go back in here and we're gonna turn back the power. Boop, and close that. And we're gonna go and get that hatchet um, because we're gonna kill him. We're gonna take him out. He got the teddy bear, which means that every time he tries to hit us, it won't affect us at all. But we can hurt him and that's the plan. If you hold down B at doors, you can actually look inside and you can see he's up there. He's gonna. He's going to come outside on top of the balcony. And there you go. When you're on the box, uh, he can't get to you. He doesn't even notice you're there. And that is pretty much the safest place you want to be. So I recommend grabbing the pug and get on that box because it is the best thing to do. All right, he's on his way. So let's get ready for this. There he comes. All right, we got to do this. One. Now we gotta be careful too, because if we knock him down, he will drop the bear, and we don't want to destroy the bear. Come on. How many hits does it take? It takes a lot to kill him. 
it takes a lot to kill most of the villains. Oh, okay, okay, we didn't kill the bear. Boom. All right, so that's why we needed the bear. And he picks up the bear, and he can't hit me. Oh, he keeps jumping. Come on. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Die. Come on. Oh, my God. There we go. We did it. All right. Woo. Now let's go see if the other killer showed up. And there he is. Isn't he lovely? He tripped over the fence. I mean, not fence. What am I talking about? Uh, no, we don't need that. Oh, we turned it on. Um, we're going to go. And we're going to shoot him. Because he's fast. And if we shoot him once, he'll start to limp. But if we take him out twice, we'll be good. Boom! Alright, we're going to wait, though. Because he'll still get up. It takes a lot to kill these guys. Alright. Let's drop this. Let's get on this bad boy. We're gonna hit. We're gonna run over, over him. We're going to blow him the fuck up. So let's go. Let's go. Some Resident Evil apocalypse shit right now. Oh, jump off! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I messed up. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe I messed that up. And this is when the axe comes in handy. So we're going to go to the end of the dock because the final act, the final monster, the final killer, uh, will just suddenly appear at the end of the dock. But let's take a look. Like, these guys are perfectly safe. Uh, this guy is gone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I was so hoping that everybody would survive. Oh. Well, time to wait. Waiting, waiting, and waiting. You hear the music slowly echoing. Hopefully she'll appear. I hope nothing weird happens. I hope that I didn't mess this up and then she's just going to come out of the water and grab me or something. This game can be really random. Oh, there she is. Boom! And you can just start hammering. And there you go. We did it. Lakeview Cabin 3, done. Uh, and there's a picture of the old family and supposedly uh, the family from the first game. So what's interesting is the bit of lore a lot of people have been pushing is basically that uh, the three killers that you see are the little boy, um, the father, obviously, and the mother. And the redhead that you play as is that girl. Now, it's uncertain whether or not it, it, it's true um, but it's pretty interesting to see that to that be the case. So um, it's really, you know, it makes it even more exciting when you use her to kill the mother. Um, but yeah, that was this game, and it was really fun. Uh, I am going to be playing the other levels, obviously, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this will be done soon because they are tough. But thank you guys for watching. I'm SD2 Production, aka Cthulhu Werner Cardigan. And I'll see you guys next time.